Okay, um, today I'd like to show you how to send applications to one another through email, Skype, programs like Skype. Um, with a jump drive, you can just save it to the jump drive, anything like that. First you need to open up iTunes. Then click on the Applications tab. Here I have it already open. Um, click and drag the app to your desktop and it's right there for me then you open up your way of sending it which is probably the most common is email so you'd attach a file um, and send it to your friend then if you're receiving the email save it to your desktop again it's right there here's another one Save it to your desktop and then open up your iTunes. Uh, click on the store tab in the upper left hand corner and click verify or authorize this computer. A little box should pop up with your um, email in it, uh, but you want to erase that and type in your friend's email, the person who sent it to you. So you type in uh, whatever their email is, and yes, you need their Apple password, not their email password, their Apple password, and click Authorize. Then what you want to do is either click and drag the app, I don't know if you can see that, but click and drag the app into your iTunes and drop it under the applications tab or you can click on the upper left hand corner file add file to library uh, find it on your desktop and it should appear here See, there it is, there it is. Then you click on your iPod under the Apps tab, right there, Apps tab. Uh, you would sc scroll down and find the application. Um, it could be, or you can just search it like uh there it is right there see and then check the box it's already on my iPod but check the box and then click apply a little box should pop up that says apply click apply your iPod should sync and you'll be able to use the app on your iPod one more last comment um when updating the app, you will need to enter their password again. Um, not a big deal, just make sure they don't change it. Thanks for watching, and good luck.